Today, we reviewed how to use partial quotients, quotients, division to solve math problems. So, we are going to divide 156 by 12. 156 is the dividend and 12 is the divisor. So, I'm going to write my problem out the traditional way, 156 divided by 12. Now, I have to draw my line for the partial quotients. How many 12s are in 156? Because it is easy to multiply 10, an easy strategy is to start with checking whether or not there are at least 10 12s in the number. Are there? Yes, because 12 times 10 equals 120. And 120 is less than 156. So I'm going to write 120 under 156, and I'm going to put 10 off to the side. Remember, this 10 means there are 10 12s in 120. And I'm going to do the subtraction. 6 minus 0 is 6, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 1 minus 1 is 0. How many 12s are in 36? 3, because 3 times 12 equals 36. So I'm going to write... 36 under the 36 and a 3 off to the side. The subtraction equals 0. And then I need to add these two digits together. So 10 plus 3 is 13. So 156 divided by 12 is 13. What if I had the problem 190? divided by 27. Let's use estimation to create an easier problem to solve. So we're going to round 190 up to 200 and divide it by 30 because we looked at the 9 and the 7 and they both are hot, bigger than 5 we must round up. So, if I clear, I'm going to write small, so I have 200 divided by 30. I draw my vertical line, so what number is close to 30 that divides 200 evenly, 20 or 25? So we could adjust our problem to 200 divided by 20, which would be 10, or 200 divided by 25 would be 8. That would be easier to do. Or we could take a look at this problem and solve it. 30 cannot go just into 20, so we need to go into 200. So what is a number 3 can multiply into that is close to 20? I'm going to go with 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So 30 times 60, or 30 times 6 would be 180. So I'm going to write 180 because 6 times 3 is 18 and I have my extra 0. And I'm going to write a 6. Then I do my subtraction. I have to borrow from the 2 to get 10. I have 20 left over. Can anything go in there? Can 30 go into 20? No. So my answer is 6 remainder 20. Division. Read the example of how to use the partial quotients division with multiples of the divisor. So we have 237 divided by 11. We needed to think how many 11s are in 237? We know 20 times 11 is 220, so there are at least 20 11s. We wrote the 20 here, 
as the first partial quotient and 220 below 237. We subtract and we have 17 left over. How many 11s are in 17? 1. So that's the next partial quotient. You write the 11 below the 17 and subtract. 6 is left to divide. 6 is less than 11, so we are done dividing. Add the partial quotients. 20 plus 1 equals 21. A remainder is 6. The quotient is 21. You could have started solving the example problem by taking away 110 from 237. If this was your first step, what would have been the first partial quotient and why? I want you to answer that one on your own. Let's take a look at number two. First it says to estimate. So I'm looking at 15. I'm going to look at that 5. And I'm going to round up to 20. 485. I'm going to round that up to 500. That equals uh, 5, uh, 2, 4. So 20 times 20 is 400. And I have 100 left over. So it's going to be 25. I'm going to check my math real quick. Yep. So 500 divided by 20 is 25. Let's see how well we did. So I'm going to start off by writing the problem. Again, 15 divided by 485. And I'm going to have my line go down. How many times does 15 go into 400? Well, let's start with 45. How many times does 50, or let's start with 450? Because we know 15 goes into 45 three times. So how many times would 15 go into 450? 30. So I'm going to write 450 and 30. Remember, that 30 means thir there are 15, there are 30 15s in our problem. Now I need to subtract 5 minus 0 is 5, 8 minus 5 is 3. So my next one is how many 15s go into 30? 2. Write 30. I have 5 left over. Can I, 5 is less than 15 so I'm done dividing. 30 plus 2 is 32 with a remainder of 2. A remainder of five. I'm sorry. Remainder of five. Try the next one on your own. 